Turn on the torch, light up the flame. It's time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are, here I am, to explain, to teach, and create again. With this new camera, which I'm really excited about, I'm going to do some, well, higher def videos, of course. And one of them, I've done it before, and I'll do it again. Um, may as well. Um, I'm going to do a quick video on making angel ornaments. And then uh, I'll come up with something else after that. Let's turn on the oxygen concentrator. Get it going there. Uh, there we go. Okay, first of all, angel ornament, right? Right. Got several pieces that I, oh, of course, I reach for something and it readjusts the flame. Here we go. This is about nine and this is about 10 mil. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just as you can use smaller, like six or five, to line this with, but this is all I do. To line this with. One line right after the other, and as you can see, I'm not heating up the rod that I'm putting it to. I'm heating up the, uh, the glass rod that I'm lining with. And I call this side the pencil and this side the paper, so I'm heating up the pencil and adding it to the paper. When I get down to the bottom, I sort of pull a little nub off the bottom like that. And that helps it. And I also heat it and sort of take a little bit of the stress out so it's not going to be um, what you would say. What's a good word for it? <laughs> so it's not going to stress out and crack in that spot. Okay? Now, then I heat it up slightly, the whole body, pull, elongate it just slightly, and that's the angel body, tunic down to the, you know, the bottom feet, which you don't really put feet on, but it's okay. The next thing I do is I add arms to the angel, and of course two arms. One right after the other. And I usually start on the right and then work my way to the left. And then I keep going as I turn it. I do the arms first and then I do the wings to the angel. Like so. We'll, we'll get right into it in just a second. Okay. Now the wings, I attach about the same, maybe a little lower than where I put the arms. And I do my basic fold and pull. I know it's a pull and fold, but same idea. I just call it fold and pull because it sounds better. Pull it out, fold it over. And then when you heat it up, and you think you got enough, and you want to just move it to the right direction, there you go. I know, practice, 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 and oh, by the way, more practice! You'll get the hang of it, eventually. And if not, that's not your forte. Learn to do something else, not glass blowing, besides glass blowing. I'm just saying learn to do something else in glass blowing that you know you're very good at and get better at it. Okay, there's the other wing to this angel. About the same size and same, so I just sort of stretch it out. And as we can see, now I add the head, like so. Right between the two shoulder, uh, two arms there. I keep and add and pull out a rod close to about a half inch to an inch, maybe a little bit less than that, I don't know. And I round it off and I do what, oh, there we go. I was trying to pull it off and it tagged to the wing. <coughs> and 
I usually do that um, what I call the uh, DQ swirl there when I pulled it off the head I sort of swirl it off and that way you're not having these long thin strands all over your table now next thing I do is I add a bail or loop on its head like so top to bottom I mean I usually go from front and again I pull it out a little bit start doing sort of like that question mark look and then just let heat and gravity work with me and sort of touch it to the back after that I heat it in a little bit more and I put a graphite rod in the middle to make sure it's a nice loop. Now, next step, we're going to do the bottom. These grips come in handy. I can get it right. There we go. And I'm going to make the base. Oops. I wasn't watching where I was heating at the bottom. And it stressed out a little bit and some of the uh, tunic fell off. But it's an easy fix, which I will take care of real quick. Here we go. Right here. Add it in. And now I'll just heat up the base. Like so. Get a little bit more defi definition going on in that flame. And press it down. And you've got, pull that off. Please use to show it off. Yeah, like I'm going to be touching it. And you've got one nice looking angel. What do you think? And these videos are going to be short and sweet. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And as always, enjoy your day. Carpe Vitro.